This is not a review per se, since I haven't finished the game. Just initial thoughts. But I don't think my thoughts are gonna be positive as I continue progressing through the game. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about a game. Gotham Knights is out on the new systems right now. Don't feel like going through it. This game is not made by Rocksteady, the folks who gave you Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight. It's a different studio. WB, Montreal. They worked on those other games, but they weren't the, the main developers. Anyway, it feels... No, let me take that back. It looks like those games in, in a way. You know, I do hate the voice of Batman and his Bruce Wayne voice too. I, I just hate the voice. Batman is killed and now his protégés are taking over the, the, the last mission he had or whatever. The concept, great. I like it. I'm not mad at it. You know, get rid of Batman. Then you have Robin, Nightwing, Red Hood, Batgirl. It's co-op. All this stuff sounds great on paper. Like the premise, like I think that was the premise. Like, yo, what if we had a multiplayer game? Uh, Gotham is huge. I hate that. I'll get into that later. Let's talk about the good stuff. Um, I like the fact that there's different suits that you can get and unlock. There, there's um, you know, items you pick up and you can craft different uh suits that you know increase your abilities. You can craft different melee um weapons. You can craft uh, different range weapons. They have levels, so it's like uncommon, common. I don't know where it goes because I literally only been playing for like two days. I don't know how far it goes. But you can craft stuff and you can make yourself look different. You can put on like a different cow and a different um, cape and different boots and stuff like that. So you look a little different as you go out in the world. Co-op, for the brief moment that I played co-op, it was really cool. You know, you could put a tracker on on the map so that your partner can see where you're going or you can go to the top of the map your partner can go to the bottom and you guys are both sharing experience points the the enemies are a little bit stronger based on like your experience and your partner's experience but you can go off and do your own thing if you want to meet somewhere you can be like hey meet me here and you guys both meet there and you fight bad guys like that part is is dope and as you progress in the story together like if you join your friend's game if you go back to your game, whatever you did in your friend's game, it tracks. So you can just skip through the stuff, you know, in your solo game. So that stuff is is dope. It's cool. But now we get into the bad part of the game. And it's the fighting. If you played Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight, the fighting is probably one of the best fighting mechanics in video game history it feels so good it's smooth it's fast you feel powerful as batman you have gadgets you're getting around it's awesome combos matter you know getting your combos up matter because that leads to takedowns you get a little bit faster all that stuff matters in this game they changed it there's no counter button like another game when you see the little thing pop up on the head you can counter and keep hitting they took that out why who knows? Anyway, the combat feels stiff and slow. All the, all the characters just look bulky and it just, when they're moving around, it looks so stiff. You can't counter. So as you're doing a combo, somebody swings at you, you have like a perfect dodge that leads to a counter punch, which is okay, but it doesn't have the same feel. You don't feel connected to the fight like in the other games. Like when somebody punches you in other games, you can block it. You feel like you're having a fight. In this one, you're just dodging all the time, back and forth, dodging. It's like, yo, you trained under Batman. Let me fight. Another problem that this game has, again, with the combat. Everybody has a gun. All the bad guys have guns. So you're beating someone up. Somebody shoots you in the back. You're beating another person up. You got to stop because another person has a gun. It's like, why does everybody have to have a gun? I, I don't understand it. Moving on. Your combos don't really matter. You have like a little momentum meter at the bottom, but the meter goes up when you punch somebody or if you dodge. So it doesn't really matter if you 
punched them three times in a row and stop, or if you punched them once and stop, because it's gonna go up anyway. The momentum abilities, the ones that I have so far, they're not great, because you'd be doing your momentum ability and somebody could just smack you in the head, it's over. You could accidentally walk into the fire, you, you, your combo will stop. It, it just, it doesn't flow. There's no flow to the combat, and that's like the the thing for the Batman games. It's the combat. It it feels great. You have to unlock the ability to travel fast, like gliding, simple gliding. I, I play as Batgirl, have a cape. I should be able to glide from the beginning. No, I have to do a, a little mission in order to unlock the glide ability. And from what I'm seeing, everything is detective work. And the cool thing is you can go out at night all the time because it's always night and you get these cases but it seems like you have to keep going in and out in and out to to get enough information to progress the story like it it's mind-boggling to me i'm like why do i have to go back in into my my home and then come back out to to continue this mission it doesn't make sense and as big as this map is it's huge it's really huge it's nothing to do it's nobody like you go out there and it's like crimes in progress. Zero. No, no, nothing is happening. You're just going around and it's like, all right, this is empty. Like my friend, I was we was we was playing at the same time to unlock co-op. And he came out and he made a turn and he went into some part of the city and it was no crime. Like nothing was he was driving around for like 10 minutes, like nothing was going on. And I'm like, well, I went this way. He was like, I didn't find anything. So this game it it's built on the other characters outside of batman which is good but they took all the good stuff out of the arkham games like the combat for one and it's just it's choppy and it's stiff and and it needs work like i like the the crafting stuff i like getting new suits and all that but it's it just feels bad i'm gonna continue playing it because God of War doesn't come out until next month. But this is not a game you should go rush out and play because if you like the Arkham games and you think you're gonna get the Arkham games in this, but like playing as Nightwing, like, oh, it's, think about it. It sounds cool as Nightwing running, doing all the fighting stuff that Batman did, but no, you don't get any of that. You, you get frustrated and you question yourself a lot while you're playing it. Like, why am I playing this game? But those are just my thoughts. I only played the game for like two days. What are your thoughts on the game if you played it? And do you like the Arkham games? Because they're pretty incredible. What's your favorite one? Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Deuces.